सोहम मंडल कंसल्टेंट ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन अटैच टू मणिपाल ब्रॉडवे विद स्पेशल इंटरेस्ट इन जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट आर्थरोस्कोपिक एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ट्रॉमा सर्जरीज सो टुडे वी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट शोल्डर पैथोलॉजीज शोल्डर पैथोलॉजीज इंक्लूड ट्रोमेटिक शोल्डर इंजरीज लिगमेंट टेयर्स ऑफ द शोल्डर एंड ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस ऑफ द शोल्डर सो आई विल गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ईच पैथोलॉजी एंड देयर ट्रीटमेंट एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट so we start with any shoulder injury so shoulder fractures are very common especially in old age so what happens shoulder is like a ball and socket joint the ball most commonly breaks we call it humerus head fractures or the humerus neck fractures so in those cases mostly the symptoms are pain and inability to move the shoulder there might also be acute dislocations of the shoulder uh, which we also treat surgically so what happens in these cases we fix it with a plate and many screws so after which what we do is physiotherapy rehab we start it immediately after surgery so that very fast range of motion is achieved our shoulder normal range of motion is around 120 degree in each direction that is front and side so around 2 weeks from surgery normally if good physiotherapy is done the patients achieve full range of motion another problem uh, that we encountered in our daily practice is ligament injuries it is very common in athletes footballers badminton players basketball players so there are many ligaments in the shoulder which stabilize it and they prevent it from coming out of the joint it is called rotator cuff so very commonly the rotator cuff is torn commonly in younger patients there are traumatic tears that is following injury while playing sports and also we encounter it in elderly patients and they are degenerative tears so what happens with age the tendons thin out the tendons become weak and with small or limited injury they tend to tear or break so what we do in those cases we do not cut we operate by using a camera we call it arthroscopic surgery it is like a micro surgery and we repair those tendons Uh, from inside the joint we see inside the joint we see how the tendons are we use something called suture anchors and we tie the tendons to the bone so the rehab protocol is pretty similar to the ones that are used in the fracture cases so generally the recovery period is around 3 weeks but yes the therapy required is more intensive and the patient needs much more uh, therapy than normal fractures so the rarer case in shoulder is osteoarthritis we all know about osteoarthritis of the knee uh, which is very commonly affected joint in shoulders it is not a very commonly affected joint but yes we do uh, find it in our clinical practice so rarer cases are total shoulder arthroplasty that is replacement of the shoulder joint and reverse shoulder arthroplasty so i will give a uh, basic and brief outline about the difference of these two in total shoulder arthroplasty we do when the rotator cuff or the muscle stabilizing the shoulder are intact then we do a total shoulder if also the muscles are destroyed with the osteoarthritis we do a reverse shoulder arthroplasty the recovery period is longer it takes around 2 to 3 months for the patient to achieve normal range of motion but if the shoulder destruction is very high they do not achieve full range of motion but over 90 to 100 degrees they may achieve and most importantly in these cases the symptom is pain the patient becomes pain free